Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this is a video tutorial about the hatch command and some other related commands like the gradient boundary and solid commands as well. So let's just jump right into it and I'm just going to start by drawing a rectangle and I'm not sure about the size on this I'm just drawing it to fit this odd small screen I'm using for video purposes and I'm just going to put a circle in the middle of it and this is just like tutorial 2-5 on my CAD site so what I've done here is I've created a shape and we're going to presume it's a piece of metal with a hole drilled through it and to do a cross section of that or a section view we use the hatch command so I'm just going to start it up and you'll see it's already filled it in but that's not what I want so I just hit the uh, T option you'll see down here T for settings and it opens up this dialog box which gives me a few options so instead of going with the solid I can go to steel and we'll try a scale of one and I'll pick some points I'll just gonna pick this point and it gives me a preview so I'm just gonna right click and you'll see that that's brought it in and it's not quite what I want so it's a little uh, big so I'm just gonna do a scale of let's say six and see how that looks and that looks better so I'm just gonna close that hit escape and you can see that now I've got a hatch that is showing steel pattern and it's uh, filled in it detected this hole as well so it's very quick very easy to use and I'm just gonna go into the hatch edit command HE enter and select this and you'll see that one thing I didn't do and it's off by default is select this annotative and I can't change that after the fact and the reason I want to have that is that if this diameter changes you can see I'm going to have to redo the hatch so I'm going to erase this hatch and I'm going to start over so I'm going to start the hatch command H enter I'm going to go into T for settings and this time I'm going to select select annotative so I'm going to set my uh, scale to 6 like I had it before pick points and press enter so I've got that same hatch pattern but now if I change the circle you'll see that the hatch pattern changed with it now this is great this is so handy to have if you've ever drawn a hatch pattern like this by hand using pencil and paper and then you've had to change something in your drawing you've had to erase most of your hatch and start over but AutoCAD will do it for you. So that's just a quick look at how the hatch command works. Um, just play with it, try a different, few different settings, try different patterns, see how it works. So I'm just going to erase this all and try something else. I'm going to draw four lines and it doesn't really matter what shape but the thing is I'm not going to use the end point O snap I'm just gonna leave a little gap there so I'm gonna do a zoom extents and so there's my shape so now if I start the hatch command and I pick an internal point you're gonna see I get this dialog box here and I can go to details and it gives me some more information about what's going on with this but the most important part is right here it's giving me some circles that are going to show me where the gap is. Now that is really handy. It didn't used to do that for you. So what I can do now is just take this, press escape, and I've used my O snaps and my grips to put it together. And then I just do RE enter, and that gets rid of my circles. And now I can do my hatch and I'm set. So a lot of times if your hatch doesn't work 
that's because you've got an open area and it's just uh, can be tough to find but AutoCAD's making the tools a little easier to use each time in each version so the next one I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put another circle in here just for something to do and that's the gradient command and you'll see right away it's created a gradient of two different colors now if I go up here I can go to uh, different properties I can change the colors you can see how it gives me a preview and everything as I work through it and I can change the origin but pretty much it's not something you use a lot in your everyday drafting but it's just good to know it's there in case you need to use it at some point so that's the gradient command works very similar if I double click on it it'll bring me the options here and I can change colors so but play around with that if you like that's the gradient command next one I'm going to show you is the boundary command so I'm going to start with four random lines and what the boundary command does is it doesn't fill an area like the hatch command what it does is actually just create a new shape or a new object based on the boundary and in this case inside here so BO enter and it gives me this nice dialog box it's very straightforward I can create a polyline or a region I'm just going to create a polyline. This is also covered in a later tutorial what polylines are all about. So I'm going to pick a point just like I would a hatch. And there it is. Press enter. And it may not look like anything happened because everything's on the same layer and it's the same color. But if I start my move command and choose L for last, you can see how it's been uh, highlighted and I can select it and move it so it's a very quick way of doing a uh, complex shape and this one is just four points but uh, remember the boundary command it's going to come in very handy down the road and save you some time along the way and last one I'm going to show you is the solid command and I'm just gonna type in solid and it, what it wants is three or four points to create a, a, a shape. So I'm just going to do these four points. And you can see what it's done is created this kind of weird shape here. So let's just erase everything, draw a rectangle, go to solid, and if I pick four points, it gives me this bow tie look, which really I'm really rarely gonna need so let's just erase that and what this command is good for the solid command is just to create something with three points so I've done three press enter and there's my shape and that's really quick if I need the whole thing done I should probably just use the hatch command but I can also use the uh, solid command again and pick these three points and there it is filled but then I've got two different shapes so anyway that's a quick look at hatching gradients boundaries and solids have a look at mycadsite.com and this is going to be covered in tutorial 2-5 and I've got a free, completely free AutoCAD course with over 50 tutorials and tons of videos. So check it out if you haven't already been there. Thanks for watching. This is Art at MyCADSite.com.